going on everybody i hope y'all having a good one so finally getting around to uh starting a project i've been wanting to get on for a while um here lately i've been having issues with the capra uh, more so the motor than anything else but that 1200 uh, fusion se has been uh, getting extremely hot on me um, every single time I run it regardless of what size wheel and tire or driving conditions whether I bind it up or I'm just trailing around um, I'm afraid that that thing's on its last leg so I decided to go ahead and uh, start this whole I don't know musical parts swapping everything around situation um, before I go all in and change everything uh, I just wanted to change a couple things and see if I can really nail the uh, really nail down whether or not this uh, motor is done basically um, whether I'm gonna have to order a new fusion or if I could change a couple things and this one turns out to be fine so, I don't know we're about to learn something today so I tore the original capper down and I put started putting everything back on this black cage that I got um, I've been wanting to get rid of that red cage for quite a while so new cage old but new cage for this rig um, while I had it tore down I went ahead and uh, I left the stock capper transmission in the other cage and I pulled out an old Stealth X transmission that I had um, and put in here. So this this thing should not, on paper, should not have any reason to overheat. There's a lot more gear reduction, a lot less wheel speed. Everything should be happy in here. So I'm thinking that this this little test run here should answer my question on the motor situation um but this particular cage has got a vader skid so i was able to i could have put a three gear or this stealth x in here um, i wanted to kind of knock down the overdrive situation a little bit um not completely gone but I think I was somewhere around the 25% overdrive with the previous setup with the Capra. Um, I flipped the Stealth X around backwards to how it's normally run. So instead of underdriving, or wait a second. I can't, I swap gears around in the portals and in the uh, transmission. I can't remember what I did, but it, basically it should be somewhere around 10% uh, overdrive now. I had it all mapped out in my head last night, but then fireworks and whatnot happened. And now I can't remember exactly what all I did and how I got to that point. But best I can figure, it's around 10% overdrive now or underdrive, however you want to quantify it. Um, I do have the ruptures on here, but they're the one nine ruptures. So that's not really a big change there. Everything else is the same old Capra stuff. Um, same axles, same servos, same receiver, same everything. Basically just a new cage uh, Stealth X trans and uh, a little bit of gear swapping. So 
We're gonna give this thing a run around the pit. Um, see if that helps the heating in the motor situation. And uh, regardless of what I find out there, uh, uh, tear it all back down again and build it back up with uh, whatever parts I end up needing to get. So end goal, I would still like this thing to crawl for anywhere, but I also would like it to be able to run trails since the Gapra, my other rig, that thing is straight rock crawler. Doesn't run trails for shit. So I would really like this one to be able to do it all. So that's the end goal. I, as of right now, I think I'm gonna keep the cage. So we'll see what happens. But right now, if we run around the pit, I've got as much airflow moving through this thing as possible to try to keep it cool. And the gearing should be great. So we'll see what happens. This thing was always pretty good at doing the slow crawl thing with that fusion in here, but with uh, a lot more gear reduction in this transmission, uh, damn neighbors, this thing here can uh, slow crawl about as good as the Gapper does to the point where uh, you can go slow enough where you're not 100% sure if it's actually moving or not. Like that. It's moving. But the downside to that is uh, if we get into a situation where we're gonna need to bump up over something, she does not have a whole lot of wheel speed at all. That there's full rip. It's, uh, it's enough up here, uh, but definitely gonna need a little bit more, especially for places end up going like uh, the gauntlet that's coming up here in a couple months. got plenty of time to get that sorted out I'm really just uh, trying to figure out what the deal with this motor is started getting hot on me out of the blue and now it's getting to the point where I'm thinking it's probably at the end of its lifespan here which is unfortunate because it's not even a year old Definitely need to go through and replace all the rod ends on this thing. Um, they've uh, gotten to the point where they're creaking and cracking every time I turn or articulate anything. Definitely digging the black cage over the red one. One other thing I haven't put back on here, uh, just cause I'm gonna have to take it back apart anyways, but my little mini bungee cord limit straps that I put on here that I've had on this rig since day one pretty much uh, they were just about worn through so i took them off when i switched everything around and might have to get me a couple new ones to throw back on it so 
we're gonna see how bad it unloads and that front end drop out once we get up here on hard line um, shocks are another thing that's gonna get swapped out uh, i think all four of these shocks are just completely blown out they have not had an easy life not sure what i'm gonna go with i've been having pretty good luck with the desert lizards here lately so I may end up getting another set of those got a cheap set of uh i think it's rc all-wheel drive internal spring shocks i got them because they look pretty good i don't remember what i got them for but I haven't put them on anything. Oh yeah, that front end's definitely acting a lot different without those bungees on it. But just for shits and giggles, I may throw those RC all-wheel drive shocks on here, see if they're any good or not. a little offline there. There it is. <laughs> didn't even have enough wheel speed to catch it so when it went back over definitely need to uh, get some more wheel speed out of this thing that's for sure I'm really digging the low end so probably I mean, I've got a couple that I could swap around and uh, throw 1800 in here. Uh, or I could put the uh, Pro in here. That's 2300. And that would definitely give me some more wheel speed without losing my low end. I get ahead of myself. I'm wanting to get to the finish line of this project, but I really need to figure out whether this motor is gonna gonna be able to last any longer, or if she's just done. So, kind of why I figured to bring it out here and. Give it some good slow crawling action on a hot day. Ooh, just about went over backwards again. Get it bound up in a few spots. See how hot she gets. Man. Especially with these blown out shocks, boy, there's uh those bungee cords that I normally run, they make a huge difference. I would have been up and over this thing several tries ago if I still had them on here. Still doable without, but they definitely keep this thing a lot more stable on the vertical climbs. See if I can get up this section here before the tires cake up with mud. That's 
some pretty good downpours over the last couple of days. So everything's still pretty wet up here. bit of mud on the tires. There we go. Bugs are starting to tear me up. And <sighs> flies are starting to bite. Joking, these flies are really starting to bite. <laughs> we'll get this thing down here after that little bit of a battle and do a temperature check on the motor. It's got some heat to it, but I can still I can still keep my fingertips on it for a few, so definitely better. Not as hot as it would be if it was still running that capper transmission. We'll go over here to the uh other hard harder line 
I don't know if it'll make this one or not without those bungees. But we'll give it a shot. I'll probably have a, another video coming out probably pretty soon after this one. Um, got another kind of a project. Uh, but I'm every bit as excited about as uh, this one here. I've been wanting to get this thing up the snuff for a long period of time but uh, the other one that I'm talking about now because uh, of the way that it performed over at Axial Fest um, I got uh, got another round of upgrades for it six of them to be exact and I'm really excited to see how uh, See how that changes things. Um, but I can see a potential downside, and that is going to be uh, I don't know if it's going to have the clearance that it needs. Um, we'll see. I don't want to get too far into that one just yet trying to focus on this guy here at the moment but I'm uh, I'm real excited about the other one as well I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this without those uh, bungee straps it's lifted up hardcore on this steep section here I don't know if it'll sit back down or not. Looking good for this climb today. Knocking the overdrive back a little bit and getting rid of those bungee straps really uh, put a hurting on this thing, even with better tires. Full throttle in reverse. It just barely had enough to catch itself. We'll give this another shot over from the right side and then we'll move on to something else. It just doesn't have the uh, vertical stability and the tires getting a little bit muddy already is not helping but mostly the uh, suspension unloading is what's hurting me here at the moment okay okay if you can hang on to that, we might be some getting somewhere here. Nope. Nope. Lost it. That was close. I almost had that one. Gonna topple over right here. I don't think I got enough. Span that gap. Tension the 
tire on the bottom. Yeah. That's all she is. Okay. Just because that one was as close as it was, I'll try that one one more time. Probably won't get as close as I was to getting it there, but gotta try. I think if I fought at this one for a little bit, I could probably get it, but I may do that off camera once I get done recording, but I'm not going to waste everybody's time trying to fight that here for no good reason. man so the cows have completely ripped off one of the boards and busted one of the other ones that's a bummer so we're going to have to take a bit of a detour today go a different route Haven't been this way in a long time. I don't know that this truck's ever even been on this side of it. Ooh. Another roadblock. Let it go around Dingleberry. Kind of surprised as much as the cows tear apart the obstacles, they uh, sure haven't messed around with my goat too much. It's kind of surprising. I'll hit this one. Let's see if it can pull the hard side. In its current configuration. Yeah. 
afternoon. Whether it pulls it or not, I can really tell the difference with that flat skid. Hey. Nice. Oh. bugs Yeah, that flat skid's real nice. Still get a little hung up on the rod ends. They do stick down a little bit further. But as far as sliding over that flat skid, it's a lot smoother. Oh man, that was probably one of the easiest transitions up that line that I think I've ever had. think I've ever made that little transition before either it's kind of crazy this thing uh, definitely took a hit on vertical climbing performance uh, not having those bungees on it but the side hill I'm not gonna say that uh, it's better, but it's definitely still doing really well on the side hills and uh, acting a little different. I don't know about this one. Okay. I don't know if that's a groundhog or if that's a rabbit, but we seem to have stumbled onto a uh, critter here. Let me 
See that guy hiding down there? Can't see enough of him to tell what it is. Look like small ears. I think that that might be a little groundhog. <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm telling you, man, they're everywhere. Oh, yeah. He's still alive. He's probably freaking the hell out right now. What the shit is going on? What is this thing trying to crawl over me? Probably gonna come busting out of there as soon as it gets an open hole. You gonna come out there, bud? There you go. Man, right into my other one. Ah, gee whiz. And this is why we can't have nice things. And that right there is also why, especially up on the top of Hardline over there, I don't, uh, I don't get as quite uh, high up and low to the ground as I once did. They've uh, been a lot more active this year than they normally are. That's another one where I I know I could get that, but it's going to be a fight for a little while. I know that that's got to be boring for at least 99% of you. This video is already going to be pretty long.
Haven't tried it this way for a long time. Probably yet again another situation where it's been so long since I've tried to go this direction on this obstacle. I don't know if I've even tried it with this one. Like I said I haven't quite had this rig for a year quite yet. just seems like I've had it for a lot longer because I went well pretty much since I've owned it I haven't done any major changes to it except for the first round of upgrades that I did before I even drove it there is one downside to doing all of this or any of this however you want to look at it and that's been waiting on the finals for the uh, trucks with cups championship uh, been waiting on that for so long I just got tired of waiting and started messing around with this thing so if uh, if they decide to do the finals here anytime soon, I'm gonna have to uh, tear this thing down and put everything back together exactly how it was uh, during the competition. Not a lot to change anything between rounds, but it's been. Uh, solid eight or nine months i'm sure in between when i ran this thing the first time and now i think that uh at least the vast majority of us can agree that going eight or nine months without being able to change anything on one of your most favorite rigs that's way too long. I waited as long as I could. Oh, bad move. That perks of four wheel steer, I can get right back into it. Something has changed here. I think I'm missing a block. This is another one where it's been a long time since I've run this. Make it work one way or another. Ooh, ooh, buddy. Getting a little off course there, bud. Damn it. No, 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 shit. Basically starting over from scratch. Son of a gun. may fall backwards eight or ten times but I'll uh I'll get it figured out I'll get it re-figured out Ooh. yep 
It, she's a wide one. Grab, grab, grab. Oh, yeah. What am I getting stuck on here? Oh, okay. Didn't see that point right there. It was uh, shoved up in uh, the slider area of the cage. Like hanging off of both sides on the top up here. Look at that flex. Completely flexed out. I've got to say that there is a success in itself because uh, that is not an easy obstacle on any day of the week, especially. Uh, after it's been raining the last couple days you can see the green on that thing it's slippery even on a dry day where it's been like drought territory that thing's always been rough may as well hit everything while we're here We've been on a roll 16 minute clip already. Imagine I may be probably the only person that makes it this far in the video. And that's just because I got to edit the damn thing. There may be one or two of you left here with me. If so, I appreciate it. I know it's not the most entertaining situation today, but I'm trying to work this motor. We'll get down here to the bottom and do another temperature check. Probably call it for the day. Okay, it's, it's got some heat in it, but it's really not bad. This motor might be all right. It's just really odd that it was fine. Wasn't having any problems with heat or anything for, uh, for the longest time. And then out of nowhere, it just started getting really hot and it's gone in the thermal cutoff several times <clears throat> uh, we'll try to come up on the opposite side of this since we've been doing everything that we don't normally hit but yeah um, apparently uh, once it got hot the first time it just uh, couldn't couldn't handle the gearing in the capper transmission apparently 
it's, it's uh it's not doing bad at all with this stealth x now we'll see if uh the flat skid will be enough to clear so this uh the sharp point there in the center that is what screws you the most on this climb doesn't matter what rig it is it's either going to catch the bottom edge of your body or your skid or a link rod end whatever um, this is a rough one and with the serrated expanded metal edges uh, it will tear some tires up and if you get bound up and try to get out of it it will break some axles but it looks like we are just barely touching but I think it's gonna clear that is a thing of beauty Even the Gapra rubs on that thing and is not a guarantee to make it every single time. That right there is the best clearance of any of the rigs I've ever brought up that thing. Which is crazy because aside from the transmission and the electronics, this is still mostly stock setup still stock links stock suspension geometry like i said i have not changed a whole lot of anything on this um, at all yeah all the electronics i did that before i ever even drove it for the first time there's still the stock shocks my, the only thing I've done to them is uh, take the uh, spring retainer cups off of the bottom. So the springs are just sitting on the uh, shock mounts. And uh, the link mount, shock mount area on the front and the back. But all four of them are completely blown out. There's probably not a lick of oil in any of them. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So, I'd call that a success. The motor is not super hot still running good um yeah so the next go around let's see i think i've got enough room to get a little bit bigger pinion on there probably not much though i don't know if you can see up in there from the bottom or not So yeah, don't have a whole lot of room for uh, growth on pinion. So I think I'm probably going to swap this out with the 1800 and see how that does and uh, go from there. But I think that's gonna do it. Capra's back a little bit different but it's back in action again. Um, after running around today, I'm not worried about running it. They're at the end of uh, Axial Fest and uh, the recap video I did afterwards, um, I was legitimately concerned enough that I didn't even plug a battery into it and run it for that video. I figured this motor was on its way out the door and on the off chance there was going to be a uh, championship 
round for the tournament coming up. Uh, I wanted to save what little life it still had in it for that. But got tired of waiting. So we're changing things up on to bigger and better things. Man, it looks way better with the black cage. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope y'all had a good 4th of July weekend. And uh, hopefully everybody's still got 10 fingers, 10 toes. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later. Later.